Hey guys, Jacob Lake here with Trend Micro, and today I'm going to be showing you how to integrate your Cloud One conformity data into a new Relic dashboard like you see on my screen. So we have this uh, account and dashboard here, and we're going to go ahead and build one just like this that you see on my screen. So let's go ahead and get started. Head over to the, uh, the GitHub that's been supplied by New Relic. Um, first thing you want to do is pull this project down to your local machine because we're going to have to edit some stuff in here. Um, scroll down a little bit here and you're going to see some requirements, right? So just to get these out of the way, you're going to need an AWS account. You can do the free tier um, license. You can also, you're also going to need a Cloud One conformity license, which you can get three, 30 days for free as well. And then last but not least, you're going to need the new Relic account as well, which you can get away with for free. Um, once you have these, you're going to need a couple other pre prereqs for your actual computer. Um, you're going to need the AWS CLI. You're going to need the AWS serverless CLI. And then you're also going to need Docker and Python to build the project. If you have all these requirements, we can go ahead and jump into it. Um, I've already done all these. So first thing you want to do is you're going to need to build the um, conformity S3 bucket and SNS topic. So just if you hit this link right here, it'll take you over to AWS and just give the CloudFormation template a name. You don't have to do anything um, and then run it and it will spin everything up that's required. Notice here on the output section, I have an event bucket here that's been created. This is gonna be for the data dump from conformity. And then we have the topic which triggers the data dump. Um, once you have this topic, they're gonna go, if you notice on the instructions, they're gonna say subscribe to it on conformity. So if I go over to um, conformity, I go to my settings and my account and I go down to the communication settings and I update them. There's an SNS channel here. Go ahead and configure that and throw that ARM that we just created in the CloudFormation template. Once you do that, we can head over back to the instructions. Um, like I said, you're gonna need to pull this project down because we're gonna have to edit a couple of files. So I'm using Visual Studio Code. Go ahead and use your favorite text editor um, and open the config.dev.yaml file. Notice in here, there is four variables we have to define. Um, one's gonna be the bucket name that was just created in the cloud. CloudFormation template we spun up. Um, the second one's gonna be the New Relic insert key. So when you sign up for a New Relic account, it's gonna actually create three keys for you under the API section. Um, so these are already predefined. Just go ahead and copy the New Relic insert key and then paste it in here. And then conformity API key, you can go ahead to your conformity um, page and look in under the API section and you could create a new API key and then put that key here. And then last, you're going to have to get your conformity account ID. And the best way is just to follow the instructions how it says, go to the home page dashboard of conformity, um, highlight the URL, and at the end, it's going to concatenate uh, some a string of letters and numbers that make your account unique with an ID. Go ahead and copy that and then paste it in here. Once you're done with that, we'll head over to the back to the instructions and look for the next step. So I talked about these requirements already. So next, you're going to want to navigate into the root directory of the project. You're going to want to run an npm install, and then you're going to want to go ahead and actually run the command as long as you've already set up these variables I just talked about. So if you're in the root directory, run an SLS deploy. This is going to use Docker and Python to build the project and then spin up some Lambda functions and AWS for you. Um, them Lambda functions are going to grab the data out of your S3 bucket and then send it over to um, new relic. So if you've done all that correctly, you should have in here in this um, the data explorer. You're going to notice every time a, a, a conformity bot runs, it does a data dump here on an hourly basis. So that's what you're seeing here. If you're seeing this, then you've set it up correctly. Correctly. The last piece in the instructions is the actual dashboard creation. So navigate here. You're going to see the architecture diagram of all the pieces we built. Um, the last piece is actually editing this create dashboard mutation.txt file. So I'm going to open my text editor for you one more time here. I'm going to go over to that file. And then what you want to do is you're going to want to search for your new relic account ID, which is also located in the API section. It's this account. This is my account ID here. Grab this from new relic and then do a find and replace and replace it everywhere where it calls for new relic account ID. So it should be a few times. Make sure you get them all or else it won't work. Once you do that, go ahead and copy this and head over to the uh, query builder. Um, which is also a link in the documentation, paste it in here and then do a run. And this is going to generate a timestamp over here on the right saying that the dashboard's been created and then you will have this fancy, nice looking dashboard from New Relic. So thanks for joining us. Till next time.